Hello everyone, welcome to the combinational and sequential design practical series. We will be doing this practical using the simulator Samuel IDE. The very first practical we will be doing is study of logic gates and their ICs and the universal gate. These are the things we will be doing this practical. The first is study of the various gates and or nor, XOR, XNOR, NAND and NOR gates. Then the second part is uh, study of ICs, the various ICs. Then the third part is uh, implementing this AND, OR, NOR, XOR, XNOR using the NAND gates and finally using the NOR gates. So we start with the very first part that is the study of X of, of the various gates AND, OR, NOR, XOR and the all the other gates. So let us start study this particular gates using the simulator. So now we are into the simulator, uh, simulator simul ID. So let us first select the gates. So on the left side we can see uh, these are the various options which are available to us so we go in the logic and logic we find these gates so first I take the buffer now buffer we can convert this buffer into a NOT gate I just double click here and I can find here inward output so I'll just click here and cancel this out so this is actually this becomes a NOT gate now for studying this we need inputs so we come to this left we select this fixed voltage this is the input and this probe becomes the output now let us connect them quickly so this is the connection simple drag and drop so this is a very user friendly software now we will just turn it on ok so power on the circuits so this is 0 output is 1 this is uh, this it is glowing so it means output is 1 and this is off there is, there is, it is not glowing so it is 0 now when I click on this button it becomes 1 so this is 1 output is 0 so for 0 output is 1 for 1 output becomes 0 so this is how we this is the NOT gate now let us study the AND gate I just stop this ok I just stop the simulation and remove this component then I select the AND gate let us select the AND gate so here in the logic we can see AND gate is here we study 2 input AND gate ok I put it here I need one more uh, sub power supply is fixed voltage because there are two inputs so I just connect this simply connect this here simply connect the second one and this one okay. now uh, we just run this simulation so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 1 0 is also 0 and 1 1 is 1 this is how we study the AND gate now here AND is available as we can see in this option AND is not, uh, NAND is not there, and only AND is there but we can convert this uh, into NAND gate we just simply double click here and we get this uh, inward output so I just click here inward output of course we can also increase the input here there are by default there are two we can increase the number by just increasing this so this now becomes the NAND gate ok so we will study the other gates afterwards so just start the simulation for 0 0 it is 1 1 0 it is 1 0 1 it is 1 and 1 1 it becomes 0 so this is how it we can verify this working ok next uh, let us select the NOT gate I just click here uh, and remove this and select this OR gate okay. do the connection and turn it on 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 is also 1 so this verifies the OR gate now to verify the NOR okay, I just double click here and invert the output now we can just click here so 0 0 is 1 0 1 becomes 0 1 0 also becomes 0 and 1 1 becomes 0 so this NOR is opposite of OR and NAND is opposite of AND so this completes okay. now the last this is the XOR and XNOR okay. just click here remove this bring in X, XOR gate okay. so this completes the circuit these are the inputs okay. we turn it on so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 becomes 0 okay. so this is XOR now let us see XNOR so double click here invert the output and here we turn it on 0 0 becomes 1 1 0 becomes 0 0 1 becomes again 0 and 1 1 becomes 1 
so this verifies this is our first part of the practical where we verified all the gates now let us go for the second part now we move on to the next part that is study of the various ICs we'll use the same simulator to study these various ICs now for the second part we need the IC7400 series so here we can find it on the left side uh, just below that logic so in, in the logic option here we have the gates and uh, here we have this IC74 you can see this IC74 so I just click here first we need IC74 so this first row 7400 to 7499 I'll just click on here so first we need 7400 so this is the first one IC7400 so we get this IC7400 now this IC7400 as we can see what it is actually it is quad 2 input NAND gate so it means there are 4 quad means there are 4 2 input NAND gates as you can see 1A 1B 2A 2B 3A 3B 4A 4B so 1A 1B are the inputs of the NAND gate and 1Y is that particular output so there are 4 NAND gates one is this one the second the third and the fourth one so first let first of all let us verify the working of this NAND gate uh, IC okay so let us first select the input so fixed input this is the fixed source okay the second fixed source and the probe this is the probe okay so first we connect this 1a and 1b the first NAND gate and this is the output okay just turn it on so as we can see 00 is 1 0 1 is also 1 1 0 is also 1 and 1 will become 0 so we have just verified the first one you can also verify the second third fourth all the four gates okay, I'll just stop it now let us go to the second one this is 7402 okay so 7402 IC we'll select the second IC the 7402 so here we, this is the 7402 IC now what this IC is actually if we see the description so this IC is quad 2 input NOR gate so this IC 7402 is a NOT gate so there are four quad means there are four two input NOR gates so let us connect them so so just connect the first input so there are four gates so let us connect the first gate and verify it you can also verify all the other gates also this is the output okay. now let us turn it on so 0 0 becomes 1 1 0 becomes 0 0 1 becomes 0 and 1 1 also becomes 0 so this is how actually the NAND gate uh, sorry NOR gate works stop it now uh, we go to the next I7404 so this is 7404 it is hex inverter means it is a NOR gate hex means there are 6 so this particular IC has 6 uh, NOR gates okay so these are the 6 NOR gates so 1A 1B so this 1 2 these are 6 inputs and these are 6 outputs let us verify the first one we only need one input so this is and one output okay we just verify the first gate okay so this is input is 0 I just so this input is 0 output is 1 input is 1 output becomes 0 so this we how we verify the NOT gate okay this particular IC okay. now next uh, is 7408 IC 7408 is here this is quad 2 input AND gate so this is there are 4 2 input AND gate so this is the AND gate IC okay. so let us check the first working of the first gate this one this the second input and here we have the output okay. so this is a AND gate IC let us start it so uh, 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 1 0 is 0 and 1 1 becomes 1 so this is how it works so this is 7408 IC okay. now next is 7432 I just remove this so IC 7432 so here we have IC 7432 this is 7432 it is quad that is 4 2 input OR gate so this is uh, the OR gate IC okay. this is the OR gate IC so there are 4 OR gates so this quad 2 input OR gate so let us connect this the first gate 1A then the second input 1B and this is the output 1y okay. sorry so now let us so the start the simulation 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 becomes also 1 so only 0 0 is 0 so this is how 
we verify the working of uh, this 7432IC which is nothing but the OR gate so this is how we do the verification okay now uh, let us uh, verify the other two ICs now the next IC is 7486 so I just delete remove this so here we have 7486 uh, so here we have 74 this is 7486 XOR so it is uh, actually XOR gate as you can see quad 2 input XOR gate okay so we just verify this the first one and the input the second input and here we have the output so now we just run this simulation so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 one zero is one and one one becomes zero so this is the XOR gate there is one more IC mentioned that is 74266 this is actually not available in this particular simulator that is that that is actually XNOR gate so it, I found it is not there in this particular uh, options so this option is not included. So we, we just conclude here the second part now we go to the third part Now next we have to study this NAND as universal so let us first uh, select the NAND gate so I just come to gates and take this AND and double click and make it inward output so it becomes a NAND gate okay so this becomes a NAND gate okay so first let us see how we can make this NAND as a NOT okay so I just uh, first select the fixed input voltage and the probe okay so the first thing is we short circuit the inputs we can we connect the two inputs together and then connect this single input here and this becomes a single output okay so now this completes the circuit now let us turn it on so this is zero this is one and for one we get it zero so this is actually how the NOT gate works zero it is one and one it is be become zero so this is actually NAND gate but it is working as a uh, NOT gate so let us actually uh, delete this suck this particular move okay just remove this okay now now in this case we need uh, in the in the second part we see how we can convert the NAND NAND as AND okay so take this two gates we need two NAND gates actually so these are actually AND gates so I just convert it inward output here also inward output So we need actually two inputs. So we need to connect one more input. So fixed voltage source. So just take it here, the second one here, and this is the output. So what we do is we connect this input, the first NAND gate, uh, NAND gate, the second, the second input, and here we input short this input, connect this here, and then this. Board. So now we turn it on. So 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 0, 1, 0 is 0, 1, 1 becomes 1. So although these two are NAND gates, but they are working together as an AND gate. So this is how NAND becomes AND. Okay. Now, and the third part is uh, regarding NAND as OR. Okay. So just remove this again just copy and we can just paste it so we have now this is how we make the arrangement okay. so first of all we this is the third part NAND as OR part so this is how we do the connection and this connects here and this connects here so let us start the simulations for 0 0 we are having 0 for 0 1 it becomes 1 for one zero it becomes one and one one also becomes one so this is actually NAND gate but it is working as a OR gate okay this NAND as OR okay. now next one is a uh, NAND as NOR okay so I just copy one uh, so copy and then we can have a paste so we can have one more gate here okay we just uh, short this input connect this here and rest all the circuit is same so this okay 
so this now we turn it on then uh, so 0 0 becomes 1 0 1 becomes 0 1 0 also becomes 0 and 1 also is also 0 so this is actually the output of a NOR gate so this is how we verify the NAND as NOR now we need to verify NAND as XOR and NAND as XNOR so we'll do this now so I've arranged this NAND gate already so to save the time now how we do the connection this is for NAND as XOR gate so we just connect this here connect this part here this goes to two inputs this one okay it also actually comes here then this particular output of this is given here and also is given to here okay it also comes here sorry then we have this output here this output is coming here and this is the output the last final output okay let us turn it on okay so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 becomes 0 so th so this is how we verify the working of NAND as XOR gate so we are only using NAND gate but it is the total is uh, the entire circuit is working as a XOR gate now finally we have this uh, uh, X, uh, NAND as XNOR gate so we are just adding if you see the previous circuit this is same we are just adding this part the one more NAND gate short circuit input NAND gate is added here so let us start it so 0 0 becomes 1 okay. then 0 1 becomes 0 1 0 becomes 0 and 1 1 becomes 1 so this is how the this particular entire NAND or the combination of NAND gate it, it together works as a X NOR gate so this is how we verify the working of NAND as a universal gate now let's go for the sec the fourth part that is implementing the AND or and the other gates using only NOR gate so we can use NOR as a universal gate now this is how the NOR gate can be work can be used as a NOR gate so we just short circuit the input connect this here and connect this okay turn it on so 0 is 1 and 1 becomes 0 so this is a NOR gate but it is working working as a NOR gate now this is the circuit for NOR as OR so 0 0 is 0 0 1 becomes 1 1 0 becomes 1 and 1 1 also becomes 1 so this is a NOR gate but it is working as a OR gate now this particular circuit we have traced is uh, it will uh, implement NOR as AND so this is the circuit for NOR as AND so I just turn it on 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 1 0 is 0 and 1 1 becomes 1 so this is how NOR can be used as a AND gate now next this combination of NOR gate it will work as a NAND gate let us start so 0 0 is 1 1 0 is also 1 0 1 is also 1 and 1 1 becomes 0 so this is how NOR can be used as a NAND gate now next this combination of NOR gate will work as a X NOR let us verify so 0 0 is 1 1 0 is 0 0 1 is also 0 and 1 1 becomes 1 so this is NOR as X NOR okay the last one will remain that is the XOR gate so this is the concluding part of our practical so here we verify NOR as XOR gate so we start this so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 becomes 0 so this is how we can use the NOR gate as XOR gate so that's all for this particular session I am sharing the PDF of this practical file in the description section you can download it from there and also study it properly and also sharing the link for downloading this Samuel ID software. So thanks for watching and do join for the next video.